All right, so I'm just making a quick video. This is the fourth gen factory incandescent taillight to fifth gen LED taillight, non blind spot monitoring harness that I make. So this one adds all the missing factory wiring, which it, it's four wires that are missing that you need to, to run those fifth gen taillights, just like you know they run on the fifth gen trucks with the, the correct, um, breakout of the turn signal so you have the amber turn signal you have the red brake lights you don't have any bob out issues with the leds so you run the correct wiring you don't need to add resistors or anything like that so it's a three-part harness you have here your individual um tail light harnesses here and you know you have the main end here this is going to connect on to the the new fifth gen tail lights Two of these connectors are going to plug into your existing wiring so this is one of the connectors on 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 the truck so it'll go into this one here this is what your other connector would look like and that one's going to plug in on here and then the third connector is the two missing wiring so your fault sense wire and a turn signal driver wire to give you the amber turn signals and that is going to plug into this main harness that we need to run so just like that. So the way the harness works, you're gonna have a connector at each location of the tail light. So you see the harness here, this, this one here is for the driver's side. Over here, the long run, that's gonna be for the passenger side. Then you're gonna run the whole harness. So there's a, a very large section of harness. You're gonna fall, basically you're gonna follow underneath the truck the the, the existing factory harness and it grabs some zip ties and kind of zip tie it as you go. But basically, up near the, the driver's side front door, there's a connector underneath the truck. And this first break off here, these two wires are gonna connect there. I have a video kind of showing that for the the newer fourth gens uh, there's two different connectors so depending on your year of your truck you know i have to make the harness specific to whichever connector you have um, i don't have a video of this of one of them it's it's really tucked up under the the fender liner um on the like the classics and 17s 18s i want to say their their connector is more it's kind of attached behind it's behind the wheel actually on like the frame of the vehicle um, but these two connectors would be tied in here these are your fault sense connectors so this is going to basically allow you to run the leds without getting any kind of bulb out error messages you don't need to run resistors you're not tricking the computer you're adding the missing wiring uh, and then the harness is going to continue on with this this run here okay uh, and then this one actually needs to go all the way into the vehicle. So you're going to run this up into the engine bay and through the firewall. And you're going to pin these into the BCM, which is, you know, up under the dash uh, on the driver's side. And it's, it's hard to get to. Um, not an easy task here. Each one of these is going to pin to a different connector within the BCM. And these are actually your turn signal driver wires. So this is what is going to allow you to use the amber turn signals. It basically breaks out the turn signal from the brake light. So whereas uh, the factory fourth gen, the brake light and turn signal are the same bulb. When you run these, it'll allow you to run the amber turn signals on the fifth gen tail lights and separate them from the red brake lights on the fifth gen tail lights. So that's basically the harness um you know there's a few settings you need to update in alpha obd i'll put those in the description uh, but basically once you install that update your settings you should have you know factory fifth gen taillights that operate as they should exactly how they do on the fifth gen trucks uh and you know you're not using any kind of resistors or anything like that so it's a what i consider you know a cleaner install um obviously it's a a lot harder than you know grabbing one of those harnesses where you're just using resistors because all you're doing there is plugging in the tail lights whereas this one you have to run the additional wiring through the underside of the truck and, and pin it to some connectors so uh, any questions on this just leave them down in the comments thanks